Hello everyone! Uh, a lot of you said you would like to see some more games from my chess club championship. Uh, this is the game I played today. Uh, I played against my brother-in-law, Goran Martic. Uh, this is like the, I don't know, maybe 15th time we're playing uh, since every year we meet uh, in our chess club championship and uh, this year I got the white pieces. So we played a lot of games, me and him, and uh, I really had no idea what to prepare for this game. I did check up on uh, some of the Italian game openings and I checked some Scandinavians as I thought he might employ this, uh, but in the end he managed to avoid my opening preparation entirely. So I had the white pieces and I opened the game with e4 and he played c5, he went for the Sicilian defense. I played knight f3, d6, uh, I went d4, c captures, knight captures, knight to f6, knight to c3 and a6. He went for the knight of variation. And as he played all, all of his moves uh, relatively qu quickly, like in a, in a second or maybe two seconds, uh, I knew that he definitely prepared something, so I, I wasn't sure. Do, do I want to go for maybe bishop to g5? Do I want to go for bishop to e2? Uh, I, I thought he, whatever I play, he, he probably has something prepared for it. I went for bishop to c4, uh, as I thought this might be something he didn't look into. Uh, but uh, in the end he probably did. Uh, he played e6 and I played bishop back to b3, uh, simply not not to allow any any ideas, maybe knight captures on e4 and then pushing d5, <clears throat> not immediately but uh, at some point, bishop to b3 always a useful move. Uh, he played knight b to d7 and uh, here uh, I castled. Here I really thought it'd be funny if he played something like bishop to e7. Uh, if he plays bishop to e7 here, then I can freely capture this pawn, bishop captures. And uh, if he cap, I mean, of course, you either capture or you're down a pawn, then knight captures, attacking the queen. And after the queen moves, I, I could si simply grab on g7 with check, king moves, and after knight to f5, uh, he's, uh, uh, he just lost three pawns here for a piece, so basically the material is equal. Uh, one piece for three pawns, but I messed up his king and uh, it's a better position for white. But of course he didn't go for this, after I castled uh, he played knight to c5 and that's a useful move. Both of his knights are now pressuring my e4 pawn, he can take my light square bishop, which is a very strong bishop uh, whenever he chooses, so de definitely a good position for black. Uh, I played rook to e1, defending the e4 pawn, and he played queen to c7. And here I played bishop to g5. Bishop to g5 uh, isn't the best way to continue this position, better would be something like a3 or maybe even a4. Uh, but uh, okay, I went for bishop to g5 and here, after giving the position some consideration, he played uh, b5. And b5, I, I knew it was a mistake. I, I didn't know, I, rather I felt it was a mistake. Uh, better would be something like bishop to e7 and then the game continues. But he played b5. And uh, after he played this, I thought about two ideas. Uh, my first idea was bishop captures on f6 followed by knight to d5. Uh, my second idea was knight to d5 immediately and after thinking about these ideas I played knight to d5 immediately. Uh, which is, uh, white is still better here but this move is uh, far worse than <laughs> capturing the knight first. Uh, the reason is uh, the reason is, uh, if you ever find your, yourself in this position, if black goes with this early b5, uh, you want to capture the knight first with bishop captures and only after g captures you want to go knight to d5. Now attacking the queen on c7 and also attacking the f6 pawn. So he doesn't really have a good way of replying to this. You can't really defend the f6 pawn if you play queen to d8, uh, you'll get knight to c6 and then white is winning. So probably something like queen to b7 or he can simply capture it, but even if queen to b7, uh, then you just grab the pawn and you mess up, uh, you you mess up the king's position, and then you're simply uh, winning this game. Uh, but uh, the idea is after knight to d5, what if he captures? Well, if he captures now, uh, then after e captures, this comes with check, and now he has to play bishop to e7, and this is different uh, than from the line I played with the knight d5 immediately. Uh, you can't do something like king uh, to d7 because of queen to h5. Now going for the f7 pawn and you can't prevent uh, white capturing. After bishop uh, e7, queen captures and after you block this with the rook, now comes knight to c6. Uh, there's a triple attack here on the bishop and black is falling apart here. 
so uh, after this b5 move, uh, which he played, uh, better is this idea. So captures and then knight to d5. But I played knight to d5 immediately. And the problem with knight d5 immediately uh, is that now the knight can be actually captured. For example, he can capture it. And after I capture back with check, now as this knight is still in the game, now he has the option of going uh, knight f to e4, blocking my check. And uh, I do win a piece back with f3, but he does have time to consolidate. h6, maybe bishop to h4, uh, bishop to e7, now captures capture, and after f captures on e4, it's still a better position for white, white is up a pawn, but uh, uh, black can simply castle and uh, the game continues. Uh, white still being better, but uh, n not, not as much better as white would like to be better. So after b5, if you're ever in this situation, do play bishop captures on f6 first. Okay, I played knight to d5, and uh, here he decided to play uh, knight captures on d5. Uh, I played pawn captures on d5, and here he played e5. Of course, he uh, can't open uh, d file immediately, but he doesn't want me to open it uh, either. And uh, I played f4 immediately. I want to open d file no matter what. Uh, here he played knight captures on b3, which uh, there really is, there's really no need to do this as my bishop uh, isn't really doing all that much aside from, okay, he's protecting the d5 pawn and maybe that bishop can become an active piece in the future, uh, but for now there's really no reason to capture this. Uh, a move like f6 uh, gives gives black a solid position and uh, white is still better, but you, you have to, you have to keep, uh, keep playing this game. Uh, so here he played knight captures and I played c captures on b3. Maybe even a captures on b3 is better, uh, but I thought, ah, okay, I, I will capture away from the center, but at least I get uh, a c file for my rook as the queen is occupying the c file momentarily. So he played bishop to e7, and again here uh, f6 would have been a more solid defense, but okay, bishop to e7. And here I played uh, rook to c1, first uh, bringing my rook into the game with a tempo on the queen. Uh, he played queen to d7 and now bishop captures. Queen captures and pawn captures on e5. And here he castled. Uh, you can't uh, grab the pawn here because if pawn captures then knight to c6 attacking the queen and the pawn. Uh, and after the queen moves, uh, rook captures on e5 with check, you have to move the king. And you, you, you still... I still grab back the pawn, and uh, now he didn't even castle, so this is uh, this is winning for white. So after this f captures on e5, he decided to castle, and now I played knight to c6. Uh, here, uh, probably a move like queen to d7, queen to c7, uh, protecting the, the d6 pawn is something black wants to do here, uh, but he decided to go queen to h4. I thought... Uh, he just wants to give up another pawn to, to maybe play bishop to g4, activating his bishop. Uh, but after I captured, uh, he didn't go for this bishop to g4. Although, okay, bishop to g4, I, I simply play queen to d4, and it's all, it's all fine for white. Uh, but instead, after he captures on d6, he played queen back to f6. Now, uh, with the idea of going after the d6 pawn, uh, but now white is winning by force uh, in this position. Uh, in this position, uh, I simply played knight to e7 check, uh, king to h8, and now I simply grab the bishop on c8. Knight captures, he has to capture back. Uh, I played rook captures on c8, rook captures on c8, and here I pushed d7. Uh, of course, the threat is rook to e8 check. He played rook to f8, he has to block this, and I played uh, rook to e8 uh, all the same. And it was in this posi position that he resigned the game as uh, he can't capture it, if he captures then it's checkmate and uh, any other move he plays I will simply play d8 and promote my pawn to a queen and it's over, for example rook to g8, d8 queen and now captures captures, it's uh, all the same or uh, you know he could capture for example with the queen but then after captures captures it's uh, queen against rook again uh, uh, winning for white so yeah, uh, that's the game I played today, I do hope you enjoyed it, and uh, you know, uh, what's the moral of this story? Uh, I played I played a, a position that I don't uh, know, and uh, at, at this moment that he played b5, I felt it was a mistake, but I didn't really know how to punish it, so better would be to simply, to simply grab this, for example, bishop captures, and only after he recaptures with g captures, uh, now do I play knight d5, and after... He captures it, for example, captures, captures, 
uh, now bishop to e7 and uh, now it's a totally different story now i can go knight to c6 and this is something uh, that i saw in my calculations but uh, then you have to take into consideration this bishop to e6 move and uh, you have to know that if pawn captures then after queen captures bishop here sorry queen captures knight on c6 and now you have pawn captures on f7 with check king to d8 and now bishop to d5 and that this is winning for white. Queen moves, the bishop captures, queen captures, and uh, now black does have two, po uh, two pieces uh, for the rook, but it's a completely lost position for black. And uh, I guess uh, from as of today I will know this, but uh, in, in that position I decided to go knight to d5 immediately instead of capturing on f6 first. Uh, because now, although it does seem like black does have compensation, and that at some point he will maybe have the open g file, but uh, not really. Uh, for example, b4, kicking the knight away, knight moves, now queen to e2, threatening queen captures, uh, queen captures bishop. Uh, there's no way for you to actually activate the rook uh, on h8 because pawn is covering g8 and e8. Uh, so after knight to e5, uh, you can simply go a4, you want to break open the position. And after black does finally decide to go for that f1, now you simply play a capture, some b5, rook captures, and now you push f4. Uh, knight moves and now rook captures on a6 and uh, black is completely falling apart here queen b7 you can play c4 and uh, it's only white that will choose uh, how to win this position where it will be queen to a2 followed by queen rook to a7 rook a8 uh, maybe he will double up uh, the other rook on the a file this is uh, this is the position you get uh, if uh, if black pushes b5 too early and you play correctly but uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't see so far, and uh, I decided maybe knight to d5 was a better move, uh, because I thought my bishop on g5 will only be a useful piece. Uh, I don't have to capture on f6. If he moves the knight, uh, then my bishop will be slicing all the way to d8. This can only be good. Uh, but in the end, uh, I played a, a lesser move, and if my opponent, uh, my brother-in-law, <laughs> defended correctly, uh, you know. Uh, he would uh, give me de definitely give me a hard time, and uh, you know, uh, in the end he might even uh, have won this game. So yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, kn know your openings. Uh, you'll save yourself a lot of trouble. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Stephen Marlowe, Philip Chaikin, uh, Andrew Lichtenberger, and uh, Nels Lindberg uh, for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check all my previous videos here. I already said that. Uh, still taking suggestions. Uh, what do you want uh, for my 100,000 uh, subscribers giveaway video? Uh, probably I will reach it in a couple of days. So uh, do make plans for next uh, Friday or Saturday. I, I will make an announcement. Uh, there will be a stream as usual, uh, picking of the winners. The rules will be... Uh, given to you in some video before that so uh, I, I will keep you all informed so yeah thank you all for watching and i will see you soon